Welcome, we are the Fortman Foundation and our mission is to identify and assist racial slash ethnic minorities with becoming well-adjusted and fully contributing members of the workforce through financial literacy, community outreach, and entrepreneurship. Our vision is to provide a spiritual anchor for young adults. Throughout this series, you will have a five minute video summary of each of our Europe articles that will touch on different topics pertaining to the young adults, which include financial freedom, spiritual disciplines, mental health, relationships, and eternal perspectives. Now let's dive right into the article. Starting with meditation, according to Foster, Christian meditation, very simply, is the ability to hear God's voice and obey His Word. The words of the Creator give life to a believer and have the power to calm even the most dangerous storm in a believer's life. God's Word speaks of the blessed man declaring, His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in His law does He meditate day and night, and that is found in Psalms 1 verses 2. How does one meditate? Foster provides some practical guidelines. The first one is set aside an established time daily. Set aside a place that is free of interruptions and meditate in a posture that allows you to be comfortable. You can kneel, you can walk, prostrate yourself or stand. Spend your time focusing on the Lord. You can read his word. Don't rush through it, really dig in imagine the scripture coming to life. Think about it over and over until it takes root in your heart. Moving on, the second inward discipline is prayer. In prayer, real prayer, we begin to think God's thoughts after him, to desire the things he desires, to love the things he loves, to will the things he wills. Prayer is a powerful communion with God that transforms us. During daily prayer, we remind God of his promises to us and remind our troubles of the greatness of our God. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17 charges us to pray without ceasing. Great men and women of God who turn the world upside down, so to speak, prioritize their prayer lives. Some tie 10% of their day to spend in prayer. Wherever you may be in your prayer life, whether you are in you are just starting off or whether you're a veteran, realize that the Holy Spirit is available to help you. Fasting is our third discipline. We read in Matthew 6 and 16 where Jesus charges his disciple to fast. Fasting clears our spiritual vision when it becomes cloudy. Many people have experienced breakthroughs or clarity after a time of fasting and prayer. And our last inward discipline is study. You see, Foster challenges believers to incorporate four steps in study. The first one is repetition. That is, our habits of thought can be formed by repetition. The second one is concentration. This just centers the mind. And co comprehension is understanding what we are studying. And lastly, reflection. This defines the significance of what we are saying. The mind is a powerful tool. Use it to rehearse, analyze, and contemplate the Word of God. You can also study books written by biblically sound authors. Cultivating the inward disciplines will inevitably require sacrifice on your part, but the blessing will far outweigh the cost. The first step in a new habit is usually the hardest. We encourage you today, take the first step in developing these inward disciplines by asking God to help you. Set aside a time that you will spend in daily meditation, prayer, and study. You may want to set a fast to heighten your spiritual sensitivity as you pray. Then lastly, write down your goals as a means to holding yourself accountable and find an accountability partner to encourage you. We are cheering you on. For more information about inward disciplines and all spiritual disciplines, visit www.theformanfoundation.org. We'll see you next time. We hope that you enjoyed this summary and that you can apply everything that you learned from here today. Check us out at www.theformanfoundation.org for access to all of our year-up articles. 
If you are benefiting from all of our resources on here, feel free to share with a friend, a coworker, or a family member. It is very important to understand that the topics covered in all of our modules should be applied in the context of relationships, eternal perspectives, spiritual disciplines, financial freedom, and mental health. Finally, we want to leave you with these five important questions that will change your life. Do you have a spiritual belief? To you, who is Jesus? Do you think there is a heaven and a hell? If you die right now, where would you go? If what you believe were not true, would you want to know? Join the movement now and take charge of your life. We hope you have an awesome day. See you next time.